Well, good evening. And tonight I've got quite an unusual wine. It's Sierra de los Sionios Old Vine Ganache 2020. Now, this is unusual because it's created from very, very, very old vineyards high up in the mountains that no one can get to. And um, it's the vision of a master of wine from Scotland. And if we have a quick look on the bottle, so here it is, look. <clears throat> Family owned vineyards, mountain of dreams. It has been my dream to save old vineyards ever since I discovered that Aragon was the cradle of Ganacha. These enigmatic high-altitude vineyards are sometimes inaccessible and hard to handle with their impossibly small yields, but are nevertheless worth all the hard work. Sierra de los Sionios is a bold expression of vineyards aged between, wait for this, wait, 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 50 to 120 years old. The result is an amazingly aromatic ganache, which is bursting with dark fruits and captures all the wild mountain herbs of thyme and rosemary from the vineyards. The French oak is beautifully interwoven with silky tannins on the palate and an amazingly long and concentrated finish. Calatillade, seven, sorry, 14 and a half percent now i don't know about you but i'm a bit of a numbers snob when it comes to alcohol and if it says 14 and a half or 15 percent i'm like whoa my eyes are popping out of my head as it were and i want to know exactly what's in the bottle now don't get me wrong there's a lot of wines out there that are absolutely splendid of 13 and a half percent as you well know but you know, just go that little bit further and what have we got? Something that's going to knock your socks off and send you bowling into the middle of next week without so much of a snitch it, snatch it. So, this is a very special limited edition subscriber wine which I have got my hands on through Life Weights by being a top priority customer and just snitching snatching around the vineyard partners have a look see what you think i will leave a link down below so this is a spanish wine of high integrity 50 to 120 year old vines beautiful bottle incredible project and it's one of those little known things that you can get in on once you get your hands on life weights vineyard partners i'm a member of quite a few including an amazing sewer from south africa and some impeccable bordeaux so this wine is looking absolutely prismic. It's a very dark, very dark garnet, but mostly black. Cannot see anything of my hand through the glass. Oh, on the nose, it's all heady, castrol oil, petrol, you know, beautiful brake fluid. We've got... Um, touches of diesel in there we've got engine oil we've got rubber tire we've got the tarmac on a hot day the asphalt this is a motor racing of a wine let's see how it's going to go down the neck Well, wow. it's very, very tannic on the roof of the mouth. And yes, it does have a long finish. There's, you know, it's it's early days yet. This is only 2020. I've opened it late 23. There's a lot of, you know, motor racing, old 1920s bumpers. 
and um, tarmac in there. It's got a long, long way to go in a bottle, this one. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful expression of toi. And it's a person's vision, a person's dream. You know, it's it's magnificent. I mean, you've only got to look at how splendidly dark purple it is in the glass. And, you know, you're looking at one heck of a single varietal at the top level. There's so much going on in this glass from herbs, especially herbs, you know, tarragon, rosemary. And there's a little tiny bit of rose petal, lilac, geranium. Parsnip. Sweet potato. Peace pudding. Quince jelly mulberry medlar medlar fruit tayberry hooded crow's droppings and that beautiful beautiful